Here's a puzzle for you. White to play and win. This is a study composed by Ladislav Prokesh, who was a prolific uh, study composer. He was also a very strong chess player in his own right, playing for Czechoslovakia in the 1920s mainly. And, well, as I said, white play and win. You'll notice that that pawn is just one step away from becoming a queen. So, well, I think white's first move is fairly obvious, but you've also got to find the best defense for black, and then it starts to get a little bit more complicated. So good luck with that. While you're trying to work that out, let me tell you a few of the things that are on offer at the Power Play Chess channel. So first of all, do check out patreon.com powerplaychess. And for example, if you contributed $5 a month, then you get a newsletter with a test game, puzzle, and special offers as well. And you'll also, when possible, we try to post videos in advance without adverts. So there's a little incentive for you that don't like the people who don't like the adverts. If you contribute $10 a month, you get all of that. Plus you get uh, an extra video. Plus you get access to opening playlists. So what I've done is I've gathered together uh, lots of uh, videos with games played in a particular opening and that gives you the chance to really research in depth a particular opening and if you want to contribute $25 a month to the channel then you get a 30 minute opening survey by me where I look at a particular line that gives you um, ideas to play in your own games. So that's patreon.com powerplay chess or if you just want to make a, a one-off donation by uh, PayPal, then you'll find the link above there, and we'd be most grateful for that. And we've got merch on the channel, so we've got t shirts and hoodies and all kinds of things, and mugs as well, with the Power Play Chess logo. So if you want to give someone a nice present for, for Christmas, then there we go, there's your chance to buy. Um, we've also got Magnus t shirts and Keep Calm and Caruana t-shirts as well. You do check those out. Uh, available in whatever color you like. Uh, you can see there's a huge range of colors there and whatever size you want as well. So do check that out. And profits from that do go towards the channel. So that really helps us. And there's my Powerplay Chess DVD series. There we go. You can get them as physical DVDs or just downloads and each one is right about five or six hours in length and I look at a particular topic in some detail for example if you want to check out openings I've done DVD on the Queen's Gambit declined for black uh, on the Sicilian Nidorf or a repertoire for white uh, with 1e4 um, there are now 26 of these DVDs or downloads um, available from the chess bay shop um, so you'll find the link above there and well they get rave reviews even though i'm blowing my own trumpet here but people do like them so if you want to study something then do check out the power play dvd series as well so plenty for you uh, if you want to give someone a nice gift at christmas or just treat yourself right shall we take a look at this study so the first move, as I said, I think is fairly obvious. Rook c8. Making room for the b-pawn to advance, and obviously if that's taken, then the pawn recaptures, and that's a queen. End of game. So black only has one move in this position to keep going. Hopefully you found that, and that's bishop here. And I think we can assume that if white queens, black will take it, and... Well, um, yeah, rook, again, rook and bishop against rook is the theoretical draw. So what does white play here? Well, again, hopefully you found this move, and that's bishop to c7. So blocking the bishop's diagonal. So again, threat is to make a queen. So black only has one move, a sensible move, and that's to take. And then we can take that. So if rook takes rook... 
then white gets a queen and that's the end of the game check and we can take the rook so only one logical move here for black and that's to play rook b4 to prevent the pawn from queening and now here's where it gets a bit clever white can play rook c2 that is the key move really in this study so if rook takes pawn we can skewer rook check followed by taking the rook here and wins there's a couple of tricky little things king a4 check but again rook b2 wins the game for white there's also king a3 check preventing rook b2 but actually after king a1 white is still winning this position because if rook takes pawn we give a check and the king has to step back to the b file and rook b2 check skewers hope you enjoyed that and uh, well as i said do check out all we have to offer and you'll be supporting the channel and really we couldn't keep going without well your views on the channel is one thing but also the support from from people on patreon or through paypal or through the kind of things we're offering with our merch as well thank you